It was probably based on the Scots pipes, or Irish war pipes, I'm sure. The Scots and the, and the Irish, they, they both claimed the, the war pipes, you know. But anyway, at, at a time when the, the pipers were forbidden to play in Ireland, they invented this uh, soft toned instrument, not as low as the war pipes, you know. At, at what time was that forbidden? Uh, about. What, what day is it, Murish? Penal laws. During the penal laws, anyway. Although it was forbidden, people were playing it. Obviously, that's the way that if you want to promote something forbidden, then it goes like a bag. Right. <laughs> so, it came down from generation to generation. That's right, yes. Generation to generation, yeah. On what occasions do you play it usually? Christenings, wakes, now and again if they had enough put in them. Often great dancers are wakes too. They have a quarter cask or a half barrel porter taken in. And tea, snuff, tobacco. Yes. They have great galley. They aren't dying half quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't a gay party then? No, it was a gay party, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Often done, turned into a gay party, yeah. Yes. And sometimes the carp sat up in the bed. <laughs> Enjoy the celebration, huh? Yeah, to bring, to bring around the big night. Yes, to help them go up to heaven. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you don't believe half the lies I'm telling you. <laughs>